Hi everybody, usually I go live on Facebook, but I'm going to be trying out some different platforms. And I ran into a situation recently and I thought it was a good topic for conversation. And what it is, is I think in this day and age, we are losing the art of having either a face-to-face -face conversation or a telephone call. Now, I'm not going to name this business because I mean them no ill will in any way, shape or form. And I think that there's been some confusion. Um, as you, those of you that follow me, especially maybe more on Facebook or if you follow my two podcasts that I do, uh, I do the Angel Rock on my own on Monday nights on UFO Paranormal Radio. And I do the thing at the foot of the bed on Thursdays with my amazing co-host, David Hansel. And I think maybe I should mention the times here. Sorry, I think for a second. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Thursdays with the thing at the foot of the bed. And the Angel Rocks on Mondays from 6 p.m. to Eastern Standard Time live. But recently, one of my subscriptions was cancelled with resin. I love doing resin. It's one of the things I enjoy doing. And what had happened was... Um, I get a monthly subscription from a few different resin providers and the reason why I do that is because I get very unique, wonderful quality molds, they're great value for what I receive and it's something to kind of treat myself every month and I think everybody should do that if you can afford it, even if you can't, even something maybe that really brings you a lot of joy, you should, you should do that, I think it's good, I think it helps helps make us all feel a lot better, especially with what we've been through with the last um, probably three years. But the reason I'm doing this is because I think that there was a real miscommunication and I have no other way to, to reach this person, but I think it's helpful for anybody because I think there's a lot of people that have this happen and I run into them when I'm working with them as clients. And what it is is uh, I didn't receive my July subscription. And it was very unusual at this company because we might, you know, move into the next month and sometimes that happens with supplies and what have you. And I wrote an email at the beginning of August and just said, hey, you know, just sort of checking, see what happened with the subscription, have you got any idea? And I didn't hear anything back, which again was very unusual. Sorry, I'm outside if you hear some construction in the background. Um, and so I wrote an email two days ago, but when I went to the website, I noticed there was a different name. And I thought, my goodness, that's very odd. And so I emailed. And I asked, like, is the owner of this business no longer an owner? And I was informed that, yes, that's what's happened. This new person had taken over. So we'd never been told. And I expressed my disappointment. I was not rude. I didn't call any names. I was very professional. And I said, I almost feel like maybe I need to unsubscribe. But I, I wrote the email hoping to have a conversation about it to see what direction the business was going in. And before I got a response, I got a message back telling me I'd been unsubscribed and then an explanation of what had happened. Now, I don't know if this is true or not. I'm happy to provide the email for anybody that needs it, but this video is not out here to stir drama. But I've also found out today, I've been kicked out of my, the subscriber group. I still haven't received the three boxes that I should be receiving. And I have been blocked from their business page and everything else. Now, I know what people say about assuming that it can make an ASS out of you and me, is the quote. But I can't, I don't understand why this happened. Now, I did make a post and I shared the email that the business has been transferred to another owner. And I didn't say anything negative. I wasn't talking negative about this person. And a, a friend that I have in the resin community wrote a beautiful post letting people know, hey, Julia, um, that the business indeed had changed hands. There may be a, you know, a few little hiccups. But my whole point is, this has really been blown out of proportion. And this is what happens, I think, when we only communicate via text and email. I meant no harm. I meant no disrespect. Like I said, I, I wrote the email very professionally. But I can't be responsible for how it's received, right? And instead, 
like I say, I didn't ask to be on. Oh, thank you. I didn't need, happy birthday, by the way. I saw it was your birthday. <laughs> so happy birthday. Um, so I guess where I'm going with this is, and we see this a lot, and sometimes I get people making fun of me that I, I leave voice messages, but there's a reason why I leave voice messages, especially when I'm communicating in Messenger or even Instagram or other social media platforms. And it's because we end up missing what the meaning is when we're sending just a written message. There's a big difference having a conversation, say over a webcam or even over a telephone versus emails and texts. And people get very angry by the way they may construe or take the message that's written. And I have no other way to get a hold of this person to let them know that. But like I said, this has been really blown out of proportion. For those of you that know me, I'm not a drama stirrer. I don't like to cause problems. And this is meant with no ill will either, this lie. It's just a matter, and I'd love to hear people's thoughts on that. Like, I, I don't know, and it was my own partner that said this to me when I had said, wow, like I would think that the previous owner would have let us know. They were leaving the business and either they sold it or whatever they did to it. And then the new owner, I would think, would email you and tell you, hey, I'm the new owner of said business. And listen, um, I'm still kind of finding my way around. Products are going to be a little bit late whatever it is thank you julia you're so co correct people do take text messages the wrong way or emails and then you know like this is where we are with with my situation today is this person obviously is very angry and what i said about assuming i can only assume she was so angry by my email messages and that i and i let the community know there's a whole community on instagram and facebook TikTok that the business had been sold. And that's all I said. I shared her email that she had sent to me. Um, there was nothing private in it. And I think as a consumer, like I went, my, my suggestion in the second email was, I said, I'm really, I didn't ask you to unsubscribe me. And she did. I didn't get any money returned back. So we'll see what happens with my boxes. But she's had the business, it sounds like since sometime in June. And you still haven't let people know there's other things she revealed in the email that I'll say it this way. She hasn't even got some of the products for August, August box. And you're not letting people know this. And I don't understand why, because I think communication is key with your customers or even with friends or, you know, anybody, work people you work with. You don't have to have an hour long conversation, but I think where I was going with this is, we're moving into this digital age, especially even, you know, with young kids, they're not even be taught how cursive writing because we have computers, but we still all need to know how to write our names. There's one YouTuber I follow and bless his heart, but he can't read cursive and he gets sent all kinds of, you know, PR packages or fans send him something from their business and he gives them a little shout out. And he said it many times, I can't read cursive. So it still happens. I'm just seeing hi, hi Gary, hi uh, Shona, how are you? So nice to see you here too. Yeah, so that's my whole point. I don't know what the solution is. Like I, again, I'm going to repeat myself, but I get made fun of for leaving voice messages from certain people, and it's fine. It's all in, it's all in good fun. They're not being malicious or mean, but that's why I do, because I've seen over the years, and again, the person sending the message has no ill will or intention when they send a message, but you can't be responsible for how it's received. And a lot of times it's deeply misconstrued. And I, I was thinking about this, I was kind of angry at first, and then I thought, no, maybe we should talk about this, because you know, with working with some of my clients, working through some of the relationships they have and the things they talk about, that this seems to happen a lot, people misunderstand each other, Maybe in the comments you guys can let me know <coughs> that I think what, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I think that there's nothing wrong with asking somebody, I'm sorry, I don't quite understand what you mean by this. Can you, can you, or even having a quick phone call if you can, because like I said, this has been blown so out of proportion with this and it's really sad that it has. Hi, Brent, I think it's brand new though, welcome. Um, so I'm not sure what the solution is, but 
maybe if we just took a little bit of time, right, to try and hear what another person is saying or where they're coming from. And my suggestion to this business was, excuse me for a second and take a drink. My suggestion to this business was, it might be nice if you sent out an introduction email and if you let your customers know that, you know what, I've just taken over this business. It's not quite what I was expecting to receive when I took over the business. I'm trying to get caught up. Please know though that I'm on top of things and eventually there's gonna be some kinks and it'll get worked out. But instead, I've been blocked. I've been, my subscription's been canceled. I've been banned from the Facebook page. And like I said, I could see if I'd written a scathing email and that I was really unprofessional or it said horrible things to the person, then yeah, you have every right to do that. I have a Facebook page, I have groups. Yeah, I don't tolerate verbal abuse and well, written abuse, I guess it wasn't verbal. But like I said, it was perceived in the wrong way. And again, then you guys let me know what you think because I think we're really losing the art of people connecting and people talking. And I've seen so many times say, not with myself, but with other people, where if you have had an issue and people are really angry by a text or an email they've received, and then they get the opportunity to have a conversation about it, many times it gets quickly rectified so quickly because one person construed it one way and one person construed it another way and instead of us all just assuming that's what the other person meant i don't know i'd love to hear your thoughts and maybe i'm wrong i started to say this my thoughts are all over i just thought i'd talk about this but my partner said to me not everybody runs a business maybe the way you might think it is and i said yeah i guess that's true too right that would be me assuming that that's what a regular business would do communicate with your customers let you know what's going on and again, I'm not going to name this business, but I don't have any way to share this message with them. I would have loved to have had a conversation over the phone so they could have realized that I meant them no ill will in any way, shape or form. I did post their email and the message that I had sent that the business has been sold because I think that the customers need to know that. I, I didn't know, the only reason I figured it out is I noticed a different name in the email that everything with the business is identical but and plus things are way behind and we've all paid like you pay a month in advance right so i think they have every right to ask hey what's going on that's all i said do you know where my box might be kind of thing and this is what it's evolved into but all the conversation is over email so let me know hey jacqueline how are you so you guys can let me know like i said this first time going live on instagram i wanted to try it out uh, I will let you know my co-host David Hansel and I haven't talked to him yet today but a lot of times we go live he has a big channel over on TikTok it's called uh, I think it's medium David Hansel and we usually go on Wednesday nights live over there we do readings and we answer questions and kind of to remind people that we've got our show coming up Thursday nights and I'm going to say it again on UFO Paranormal Radio Network it's at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We hope that you guys will tune in because what we do over there is we talk about the questions maybe you've always wanted to ask people that are psychic mediums or that are involved that know things about the paranormal or what have you. And the audience is a big part of the show. We involve you. We'd love to ha hear your questions. You guys always ask the best questions and have a lot of great information to share with others too. And then this Monday night, I am still on UFO Paranormal Radio Network with The Angel Rock, which is my original show on the network. It's 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and it's live. And I have one of our newer hosts on the network, Carrie Lynn Shellhorn, coming on. We're having a bit of a birthday party because it's the night before my birthday. But I was on her show recently, and we had, it's called Spirit Switchboard on Fridays. I believe it's three, sorry, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I believe. There might even be 5 sorry right check it out on the website you'll see it and uh i was on her show and we had a great time uh she asked me a lot of good questions and she still had some left so we're going to do the same thing on my show but she asked me cool questions like who's your who's your fangirl she didn't say crush she said fangirl situation i guess with who's out there in the paranormal world say on tv and really funny 
like it was just a down to earth it was it's kind of like you'd be and i'm not calling people flies but like a fly in the wall sort of listening to a conversation between two girls talking kind of about spooky things and stuff so it'll be a lot of fun so i hope you guys can join us and again thanks for listening to this i'm going to post this also on facebook and i appreciate you guys okay much love to all of you thanks now i gotta figure out how to end this guys <laughs>